this time along with my hair lotion oh and then I had this other curl lotion product or whatever um, and then I put mousse on the ends of my hair uh, before putting the rods in there and it's just so nice and fluffy nice and fluffy so yeah but I'm back home from the city um, it was a really cute event um, about financial literacy and um, contracting when it comes to, um, you know, building your home or purchasing a home. It was retailers, an interior designer. Um, it was just um, great information. It was like a, a different kind of vibe than events I usually go to. And it was nice to connect with different women uh, for Women's Month. 
still in this one. And, um, you know, we're on our grown woman stuff. So it's just like that event was just perfect for um, me and my, my girlfriend, like just learning different things about, you know, how we should go about things moving forward when it comes to like finances and, um, you know, just, just building wealth at the end of the day, that's all we want, right? So, um, yeah, it was just, it was an amazing event. I even connected with somebody that said that they're going to have a conference in, um, around my hometown. I'm like, hold on, what you doing? What you doing around there? You know, so I connected with her, um, and perhaps, you know, I, we could work together for a conference where I can, um, speak at for her. You know, um, I told her I do have history, um, with speaking engagements, um, one virtual, one in person now, um, for people that don't know, or for people that may have missed it from, um, my Instagram, I spoke to, um, beautiful young ladies, um, from my actual high school, um, um, about, uh, you know, uh, women empowerment and mental health. Um, and my topic was finding your voice. I uh, wrote about that all on my blog, um, by don't say your .com. So I was just telling a little bit about my background and what I spoke about and how I'm, I'm a mental health advocate. And, you know, we're definitely going to keep in touch. So these events I go to are specifically for that for networking for connecting with new people putting yourself in new places if you want new and different things you know you have to keep that kind of stuff in mind you can't just be like oh i want to do this i want to do that i think that my biggest opportunities that i've ever had in my life have stemmed from me knowing people and people knowing me and referring my name in rooms that i'm not in so I think that we have to keep that in mind when it comes to saying that we want more and bigger. And one of the women on the panel said that today, like it's all about who's in your background. It's all about having a team. It's okay to ask for help. And I was just like, yes, that's needed. It's all about, at the end of the day, well, I learned that within fashion. At the end of the day, it's about who you know. Um, you can't, you know, say you want to do great things, and but you don't want to get out and talk to people and, you know, learn new things and be around new and different people, you know, like people can tend to do the same thing in hopes of different results and life just does not work out like that. Um, so yeah, I, it was, a, it was a good night and me and my girlfriend were like, oh, this, this is different, but like, it was, it was nice. It was refreshing. I was like, yeah, like, you know, you know, talking about stuff that we need to hear more. And I think that when it comes to our age group, like the mid, late 20 year olds, I think that we need to be around that a little bit more. We need to be reminded about that. Um, so yeah, I definitely would love to connect um, with a person on the panel for sure and maybe incorporate a little bit of that on my millennial blog. So it's like we can hear some of that stuff that, you know, that was that was sad at the, at the conference because it, it was amazing and um yeah we definitely need some need some guidance or you know just a heads up or a reminder regarding all the topics that were touched on tonight at the event but yeah shout out to you know all the panelists and the bar was cute it was very cute vibes the event space in brooklyn it was really nice um there was a taco spot um, next to it and that's where me and my girlfriend went and I'm going to show y'all the tacos that I got okay so we have fried chicken got steak and I got octopus y'all oh my god I love me some octopus I'm gonna try that first I'm gonna try that first and then I got some sauces I don't know what kind of sauces these are but I should have asked for cream but it's all right I'm gonna try this out but this is the uh, octopus. I can't think of the name. This is the octopus one. I'm gonna put a little worm on there. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
welcome octopus. This is nice and spicy. I'm gonna try this um this little orange sauce. I don't know what kind of sauce this is. I saw octopus. I was like, ooh. Mmm. I'm gonna have to go back to this place. Wow. That is too good. I started leveraging the platforms to actually drive more traffic to my blog, my website, because I am not really able to do this, but I still write like charcoal blogs and beauty blogs and listicles and all the things. And so I'm just using Pinterest as a way to push traffic to my website. But then when I did, when I did things came out, which now is just not called pins, I tried to jump on that and repurpose my TikToks, my IG Reels, I started using their, um, their shoppable features. So you can tag products in your pins and people can shop directly from it. And I was, I still do, link to my LTK and I was using those conversions and those numbers to go back to brands and to go back to Pinterest and say, hey, this is what I'm doing, this is my impact. By the way, Pinterest looks at um, saves as a, one of their biggest measures, so I was kind of going to them the same one. Hey, here's my impact. This is what I do. I'd love to get on your radar. How can we work together? And then when Pinterest TV launched, which is essentially live streaming, I jumped on that as soon as I could, and that actually gave me more visibility to the Pinterest team because it was a new feature. So they had selected me as one of the first creators to work on that feature, and through way of my consistency and showing up weekly, they said, hey, we have some opportunities with you, and it's been yeah, that would be unreal. Oh, and number two, um, Sam Kelly right now. I love sparkling water. They just like, uh, yeah. My top two brands would definitely be American Express Travel. And, um, oh, yeah. and I can, if I can somehow work with them together, which I know they run campaigns, so if you're in the air, even that sort of outside. <laughs> <laughs> I always, always, always talk about the benefits of American Express Travel and then the Delta Sky Miles co-branded credit card because I use it so much, I travel so much, and I naturally talk about it on my website, on pictures, on TikTok, on stories, and so I'm tagging them left and right. So I at this point, maybe I'm a little desperate, but <laughs> I know it would be a natural way. So I, I just love both brands because I've been a loyalist. I believe in what they're doing and the benefits that they're offering to their customers. So value and women overall. I also know some of that panels, so I'm mean, gonna maybe just we just speak out to us. <laughs> the power of manifestation at work. <laughs> uh, I'm also a Delta Namax girl. I'll say this is very random, but Carrie Gold butter. They have this gorgeous Irish butter. <laughs> it's it's bougie and it's expensive. See, everyone loves the butter, everyone loves the cheese. Harry Gold every year does a tiny influencer trip to Ireland. How do I know this? Because it, it's, like, it's like if you know, you know. But like, I see the girl who's dying, and they're like, yeah, see, everyone loves the butter. The butter and cheese is insane. It's liquid gold. And they take the girls to Ireland, we see the cows, we see how the butter is made, we see how the cheese is made. You go to this gorgeous place called Valley Menu Cookery School. And you learn how to cook and you use their butter and cheese and everything, and it is like an Irish dream. So, careful butter, if you're here, thank you for recording this. Like, you're gonna make it happen. I'm also going to. Guys, I'm at the Shopify event, uh, creator event, and I'm gonna show you all some gorgeousness. We're going walk away. Yeah, it's a cute little event, y'all. I got a trim. Okay. 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 Hi. This is my new friend, El Darlene, and she has a jewelry brand. You want to show us? Okay. Yes. Okay. Hi. 
Okay. This is coming out soon. And these are my rings. Okay. Lena Stewart, Bonnie and Clyde. This one here is Pure Moons. And here we have Satori. It's available on my website. And then she also has a nail brand as well. Yes, that's why you see my nails. Natural nails, gel nails. Yes. So cute. <laughs> So I'm finally home. I had to do an end cap of the video and let y'all know what was going on. First of all, I told you guys goodbye <laughs> in the last video. It was a it was a goodbye for the moment, but I thought about it. I was like, I'm going to a whole nother networking event. I need to show them this, what's going on. So basically the uh influencer marketing app Panopy had an event. It was an amazing event. Uh, it was my first time going. I didn't even know that they had ongoing events um for content creators and people to connect and stuff it was amazing i met some really cool people as you can see um shout out to uh charlotte i met her um at the tail end right before i was leaving um somebody asked us to take a photo together and she was like well we don't know each other so it's like, okay we're friends now <laughs> so shout out to her i should have recorded her she was she was really cool we had a good conversation and um yeah, so I was at a, a networking event for creators, or people alike, and um, <clears throat> I was just talking about everything that I have going on, and I actually connected with the founder of the app, shout out to her as well, um, she let me know that she's going to look into my application for the app, because I was like, oh, it's not saying anything for me, I, I applied and everything, um, but she took down my information, she said she's going to look into it, so I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, I've always been a part of different marketing companies and um, different things for influencers online. Um, so brands can reach out to me or that particular company can put me in with the brands. Um, I'm actually a Shopify creator, you guys. It's so crazy. This was an, an event by Shopify um, where it was. And um, it was it was really just good vibes. There's no other way to describe it but that good vibes. And um, yeah, I just, it's inspiring and reminds me and lets me know that, um, yeah, this, this could be the end all be all for me. Um, you know, being here with you guys full time. Um, and, um, yeah, um, I just met some cool people and we just, you know, we're talking about things that we have going on. That's, that's really it. Um, so I just, I stepped up for that. Um, and I came back home like a good, like a good girl. <laughs> I'm home now, and um, I was like, I definitely need to go home because I needed to eat dinner. I already cooked like a few days ago, so I definitely about to heat up that food. But I could not end the vlog without talking to you guys. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you. My hair does look a little short. Um, it's just curled at the ends, but I did get a trim. Um, you guys, you guys are going to gag when I show y'all. These results from Kaleidoscope. You guys are going to gag. You guys, like, I told you guys when it comes to that Miracle Drops, I've been focusing on my edges because I feel like with, um, like, wig glue and heavy pulling on it, my hair, my edges kind of, like, snapped. And, man, let me tell you, when I post these pictures, y'all gonna, gonna run to my link and buy y'all Miracle Drops because, baby... My edges is, is is coming back. It's making a comeback. And it's crazy. The short period of time. It only took a month. It really only took a month. Oh my God. I saw a, a difference in a month. 
Oh man, y'all about to go crazy and I'm gonna use results. I can't wait. I'm probably gonna do it on TikTok because I know TikTok is a place where I can easily like put the green screen up and like talk to the and have the photo in the background. Oh y'all going to ooh, y'all going to but yeah. So I just got a trap and deep condition. I really needed it. Um I'm yeah. I'm going to get a wig put on next week, y'all. So I was like, I'm tired of doing my curly hair. And I needed to do conditioning and trim anyway. Um, but yeah, um, so that's really just been my day. Um, uh, um, if you're new here, welcome. And I hope that you enjoy this vlog. If you see yourself, you know, shout out to you. Um, but um, yeah, um, I... That's, that's really it. I'm going to end this here. And um, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. And I'm going to eat my dinner. And I'm going to go to bed. Bye.